Do you want to teach your French bulldog to walk perfectly to heel? Well, don't worry, because that is exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Welcome back to the Fenrir French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the glorious little French Bulldogs and how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect French Bulldog companions. So if this is your first time here, start that amazing journey by hitting that subscribe button, turning on the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog episode. Now, as a canine behaviorist, I work much more with helping people with problem behaviors with their dogs and more in the world of canine behavior uh, modification and rehabilitation. One of the most common problems that people come to me with is a dog that pulls on a lead and is very reactive. So I often have to unpick that problem and help people be able to rehabilitate that behavior and then eventually get to the stage where we've got a dog that will walk nicely to heal. Now, it's something we do every single day and it's something that we're incredibly proud of our success rates at being able to work with owners and dogs in that field but what I like about this YouTube channel and what I like about videos like this with viewers like you is people that want to take this proactive and preemptive and get it right first time round because it is so much easier to train your French bulldog puppy to walk nicely from scratch and start as you mean to go on rather than waiting for these ingrained bad behaviors and bad habits to be formed and then have to come to somebody like me and spend a lot of money on being able to rehabilitate and remodify these behaviors. So I applaud you for taking this step in being able to, to get it right first time around and that's exactly what we're going to be able to help you with today. Now, teaching a puppy to heal really isn't rocket science. The problem is it does require a lot of effort, commitment, and dedication. But I promise you, by putting in that work up front, you will reap the rewards for years to come. So there's not much more happy, kind of amazing experiences that you can have with your dog than being able to go out into the wide world, chest up, head back, and just walk, knowing that your dog is walking beautifully on a loose lead to your left-hand side. So to help people with that, we do discuss heel working at length in our Perfect Puppy Protocol. It's our 12-month program of being able to raise perfect companions. If you are interested, the link is in the description, but don't worry, we're definitely going to give you a, a really detailed overview of the steps that we take to be able to achieve that. Now, the first step when we teach in a new puppy to, to walk to heel right the first time around is simply about getting that association, this term heel, or whatever term that you want to mark the behavior with, it doesn't have to be heel, means means that I want you on my left hand side that's it if you come to my left hand side positive things are going to happen come to my left hand side look up to me for guidance and direction as your calm consistent leader and everything in the world is going to be okay so to do that we use a lure mark and reinforce program now a lure is just something that we get to lure the dog you can use a lure and stick I like to use food reward because it's kind of two birds with one stone so we get a nice little piece of meat we can put it in front of the dog nose there interested in it and we can guide them into the right place using that lure so we get that piece of meat we lure them into the left hand side of us when they're in that position that we want them to be in on our left hand side roughly in the right location we mark that with heel and then they get access to that food reward and we just drill that over and over again and very quickly the french bulldog puppy will learn to understand that this term heel means i want you on my left hand side looking up to me for guidance and direction you do that a good thing is going to happen and there you go. You have taught your puppy the foundation and principle behind teaching them to walk nicely to heal. That is probably the hardest part of this whole process in terms of kind of the detail everything else from here is now just patience and dedication and commitment so once we get them to know that this is the this is kind of where we want you and this is what this word means excellent happy days now we want to kind of create a game and move into the next stage and that will be rather than just standing in one spot and zero distractions on our left hand side we're still going to stay low distractions but we might turn 90 degrees and then 180 degrees and then 270 degrees clockwise and anti clockwise and every time we do we're going to lure the dog when we get where we want we're going to mark it if they're in the right position and then reinforce it and we're just going to repeat this and we're going to turn it into a really fun positive game not only is it teaching the dog good heel but it's also really reinforcing your relationship and making this a positive experience when we're teaching a dog something new from scratch we can do it with a purely fun positive methodology if you come to me with an established really bad behavior then often we have to take more of a balanced 
nuanced approach to be able to rehabilitate that behavior. But like I say, the best way to achieve success is to do it from the start and get it right first time round. And this is where we can make it a really fun, positive and rewarding experience. So we're going to turn this into a game. After that, we're going to start adding some steps in one step at a time. Then we might do two steps, three steps, seven steps, 10 steps, all in a low distraction environment, all with no lead on. And we're just going to get them to understand that whether there's something on your neck or not, I want you on my left hand side. The lead should be irrelevant when we get to that stage. And we're just gonna make it really fun and kind of build up that level of turning steps. So we might be on a, in a little circle to start with and then eventually we can go in this entire room. We could be walking around different steps, different turns, luring, marking, reinforcing, luring, marking, reinforcing and making it a really fun experience. After we've got that nailed down, we then simply add the lead in because we want to ensure that regardless of whether there's a lead on you or not, if I say this term heel, I want you nicely on my left hand side. The lead at that stage then just becomes an additional level of security should we ever need it. Uh, as part of our Puppy Perfect Puppy program, we'll have been teaching the dog to accept having a lead on and it not to cause any issue and to that for, to be a positive experience. It doesn't get them excited, doesn't create any bad behaviors or negative connotations it just is what it is and again now we're going to layer it up so we're going to combine that with the heel work we've done so far and the two things are going to merge so when this thing is on my neck and he says this word heel I need to be on his left hand side looking up for guidance and direction if I do that fun good things are going to happen excellent so that's kind of we're right now at that stage where you are pretty much taught heel you've got a dog that will walk nicely on your left hand side with a lead on congratulations now what we don't want is for you to have to be constantly be luring the dog in that position, constantly reinforcing it at this stage. And now we want to remove that reinforcement and slowly but surely layer up the distraction. So now we might have done that all inside, zero distractions. We're going to go out into the garden, a low distraction still, but outdoors. Naturally, it's going to create a few more distractions and we're going to work on it again. And when we achieve success, we're going to slowly layer it up. We're going to layer up the amount of steps that we're taking. We're going to layer up the amount of distraction until eventually over weeks and months we get to a point where we're actually just going for a walk and then rather than having to lure mark and reinforce every few steps we might have to do that once or twice a walk and eventually by the time your dog's an adult grown up french bulldog glorious looking incredible dog you've always dreamed of you never need to reinforce it or mark it because it's so ingrained that this is what we do when we go for a walk that it's just a natural behavior that they will offer you and it might just require once a walk good heel thank you yes good heel and that is more than enough to reinforce and constantly be working on that behavior so that is kind of the principle like i say it really isn't rocket science but it's just about commitment and dedication that isn't something that's done in one session it's not something that's done in one week it's something that we build on day by day week by week and month by month especially throughout that first 12 months when our puppies are growing they're going through that adolescent stage they start to test these boundaries we need to make sure that we maintain consistency we maintain those rules boundaries and expectations as a calm consistent leader and if we are willing to put in that level of effort and dedication and commitment and hard work then that is how you get a perfect canine companion too many people think that there's quick fix and easy solutions to it and there's not it's about an ongoing commitment and dedication to the dog that you have made the decision to bring into your life and I absolutely think that you can achieve that now there is a few kind of common hurdles that people fall over at that I want to discuss very quickly and the first one being what I call ruining the lead association. There's a reason why we teach it in that way with those steps and we add the lead in later because we want to, like I say, for that lead to be associated nicely with walking to heel and the two things go hand in hand. Now, if while you were working on those first couple of steps with no lead, you've been taking your dog out on a lead and it's been able to run all over the place and be at the end of a lead and bouncing off the end and you've given it completely free roam, then you put a lead on and expect it to understand that you want it to walk to heel the two things often clash and it causes confusion in the dog so I like and in my perfect puppy program I talk about not utilizing a lead at all wherever possible until we're at a stage where we're adding the lead to heel walk so that it is that seamless transition now of course we need to ensure that we're keeping our dog safe and I never recommend you going somewhere 
off lead where they can't be kept safe. But in those situations, I recommend a long line or even just a big reel of paracord and just tie in a knot to their collar and drop it on the floor. That way they'll quickly forget that they're even attached to something, but in a God forbid worst case scenario, we can quickly pick it up and reel it in. It also is beneficial to our recall work that we're gonna be working on simultaneously along with our heel walk. But what that means is that our normal lead, our short lead, slip lead, clip lead, whatever it is that we're working with, is only ever associated with that heel work so the dog knows when this lead comes on i'm gonna get heel yep cool i know what that means that means i've got to be down here on the left hand side and we're gonna go for a walk i'm gonna look up to you for guidance and direction and we're gonna move and that is the best way of achieving excellent success now again there's a couple of other common pitfalls and mainly around rushing things and not being patient. We've kind of talked about patience earlier, about the commitment and dedication required, so we won't talk about that again, but rushing things. It's very uh, common for people to achieve a lot of success in those early stages, and the dog to learn very quickly, even a breed like a French Bulldog that might be considered a little bit more stubborn or difficult to train, will very quickly grasp that concept of heel means on the left-hand side, and you'll very quickly want to add steps because that's, that's heel, we're actually walking to heel, and let's go outside and try it and then quickly oh problems happen and you've created failure then you get frustrated blame the dog when actually it was your fault having a new puppy and training a new puppy is incredibly exciting especially one as cute as french bulldogs but the point i want you to take away from this video in particular is patience is key hopefully you're gonna have that french bulldog for years and years to come a good decade if not more and you've got all that time to enjoy having a dog that walks perfectly to heel so take your time these few weeks months maybe even that first year of putting in that patient consistent approach will cement it and nail it down so well that for the rest of that dog's life you're going to be the envy of everybody that sees you out chest up head forward walking like a calm consistent leader with a glorious french bulldog loose lead on your left hand side walking next to you equally as proud to be with its calm consistent leader so don't rush things be patient try not to ruin the association with the lead that you're going to be utilizing for heel walk have fun with it make it a fresh positive experience set them up for success and praise that success don't set them up to fail if you do that that's your fault not theirs now i hope you enjoyed that video we've got two french bulldog specific videos coming to this channel every single week to help you learn everything you could want to know and how to be a high level leader specifically for french bulldogs so that you have a perfect french bulldog companion so if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and i can't wait to speak to you on the next episode of the fenrir french bulldog show